Hello everyone and welcome back to JavaScript Lessons and Code Academy. So last time we were talking about object constructors and today we're going to be talking about arrays in combination with objects. So this is quite interesting. Remember that an object is just another type like a string or number but more complex. So an object holds more than one thing whereas a variable holds usually only one thing. Uh, with the exception of an array, but an array can't hold methods or functions. This means that uh, just as we can make arrays of numbers and strings, we can also make arrays of objects, which is the part that is very interesting. Here we have our person constructor, which should look familiar. We used it last time. We can use this constructor to make an array of person objects, similar to how we might make an array of numbers, but filling in people instead which is quite creepy but okay <laughs> so add one more person to the family array Timmy who is six years old so quite easily done index of three equals new person and that new person is called Timmy and these names are even creepier who is six years old that's even creepier but it still works so that gets added and we can move on to our next lesson loop the loop interesting all our arrays filled with objects will work just like arrays filled with numbers and strings so in the same way we may loop through an array of numbers to print them out or calculate the sum we can loop through an array of objects and access properties or methods so what we need to do is write a person constructor called person that has two properties names name and age so this was done by doing function and person oops I don't want to do it on that line so function person it takes in name and age it does something so this dot name equals name and this dot age equals age that's our constructor done create an empty array called family simple there will be four subjects in the array using your person constructor create the four objects and put them in the array the order of the objects are those <laughs> so let's just do that then uh, family zero oops zero equals and shift home oops shift home there we go and I pressed control enter so I'll change the indexes one two three this looks quite similar to what we did before but I guess it's making us do it and that can equal to the Alice actually new person who is going to be called Alice oh we put the we put Alice inside of that I forgot so let's copy and paste that uh, four times or three times actually then inside here we put all the different things in who is 40 then you have Bob who is 42 Michelle who is 8 and Timmy who is 6 I really hope that this is a family and not just a group of people because that would be creepy <laughs> um, so okay then we need to create a for loop that loops through the family array and prints out the name property for each family member in order of creation so now we can make an array of people oh okay so it will want us to put that there the looks of things uh, loop through our new array so I will use a for loop because that sounds like the easiest thing to do um, while I is less than the family dot length I believe was the syntax I plus plus curly brackets or braces or whatever you want to call them uh, console dot log and then we take the name of the list combine it with i 
and as we can see that's exactly what we're supposed to get so we get those four lines uh, we will see what that's going to happen what that is next time so what gets printed out first is Alice then Bob then Michelle then Timmy and their ages respectively so let's see what this actually says I'm guessing it's from Code Academy we're running a test below to make sure your code works also this is just them testing we can just ignore that then completely um, so passing objects into functions in addition to making arrays of objects we can use objects as parameters for functions as well that way these functions can take advantage of methods and properties that a certain object type provides to see an example take a look at the console in addition to our person constructor we have introduced a new function age difference on line 9 this function takes two person objects as parameters and returns the difference in age between the two people so we have person 1 and person 2 and returns the difference where it should actually return the absolute value of that if you want the actual difference but oh well Notice we would be in trouble here if we tried to call age difference and pass in strings instead of people because strings don't have an age uh, or if you pass in numbers or integers you would also run into trouble but because we know from our constructor that all person objects will have an age property we can pass any person into age difference we must be careful not to pass anything but person objects into age difference otherwise you can run into some bad problems if you're actually making a proper program we have created two example people Alice and Billy complete line 17 by calling age difference and saving the result in our global difference variable so age difference equals so variable diff equals age difference and we can pass in Alice and Billy who both of them are persons because we in use the constructor person on them as we can see that works fine so let's move on try it out this time try making your own function that takes objects as parameters here we have taken you the person constructor again along with the age difference function as an example now create the new function older age it should take two person objects as parameters and return the age of whatever person is older for example with 30 year old Alice and 25 year old Bob older age Alice older age Alice and Bob should return 30 because Alice is age and she is older than Bob if the two people have the same age then you can return that age so define a function called older age um, I'm guessing here uh, function older age and parameters person 1 person 2 simply uh, I believe that's how you do it or no so we need to do it uh, like this then okay function so the function there we do var older age equals function apparently although I did see something like that like what I did previously in one of the previous lessons but oh well so we do this line and then we need to return whoever is older so we want a function to return the age of the age of the person who is older so we don't need to return their name should be a bit simpler I think so this requires an if else if and else chain so if person one oops we need uh, parentheses here dot age is greater than person 2 dot age then we want to return person 1 dot age <laughs> and otherwise I mean not in the other case of where it's the other way around then we need to return the other person's age so that's person 2's age and um, here we can do greater than or equal to 
and that should solve the problem of if their ages are equal. Oops, unexpected token dot. Uh, <laughs> this is where I usually run into problems because I n never know what that means because that's confusing. So let's look at this. So you have return that and that and we do that. This is gonna work. If this doesn't work, I will come back. So I will come back after this. I'm just being very stupid and that's because here I'm doing equal to or greater than and you're supposed to be doing greater than or equal to because otherwise it means a completely different thing uh, thinking of C++ here. I'm not sure if it means anything in JavaScript but I know that that means something different in C++ but yeah you just need to change uh, which one comes first greater than comes first than the equal to sign second so that's what you need to do for this you basically kind of recreate this function but instead of returning uh, the age difference you return the age that is greater by checking with an if else if and return no if and else if what am I saying <laughs> well actually you, here I think that you can also just do an else it should work just fine and it would be a lot more efficient let's just see so this would be a lot more efficient piece of code because you're not checking there, you're just saying in any other case do this. So this also works and is a lot better. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you didn't like it feel free to click the dislike button and tell me why you didn't like it so that I can improve for next time. But until next time, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.